Hey, hello there everybody, how is it going and how have you been? I am Euclidean Squid, and here in Duel Links they just released a new main box. It's, as you can see in the background, it's called Crusader's Battlegrounds. Uh, from what I understand, it's mostly like warrior monsters and warrior support. Uh, I did run into a few new cards on the ladder, and it looks like there's specifically some stuff for the Six Samurais and Bujins. But I don't know too much about this box. I haven't taken a single look at it, besides from the little animated trailer that played when I logged the game, when I loaded up the game. And we're just going to go right in and start opening packs. I'm going to spend at least 3,500 gems. That should get us about 70 packs, I believe. And let's see what we can get out of it. No more wasting. Let's just start opening those packs. And let me just actually make a super quick check to make sure that it's still recording. I am. Cool beans. All right. Please do not... Oh, cool. New little message. All right. Let's see what we got here. No fancy glow. We have Steel Swarm Sentinel. Fiend, 3-star, 1100 attack. While well, this card is in face-up attack position... Special summon level 5 or higher monsters on the field cannot activate their effects. Alright, decent enough effect. Kind of weak, but I imagine there's going to be more support for that. <clears throat> Darkness approaches. Discard two cards from your hand. Select one face-up monster and flip it face down, but do not change its battle position. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, that could actually work... Well... I don't know how well this would work in a Dark World deck just because of timing, but... It has some potential, and we have Bujin Mikazuchi, 4 star, 1900 Beast Warrior. Uh, text is a little bit small, but I'm going to try to read it anyway. When a Beast Warrior type Bujin monster you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Pretty cool. Once per turn during the end phase, if a Bujin monster was sent from your hand to your graveyard this turn while you control this phase of card, you can add one Bujin spell trap card from your deck to your hand. You can only control one Bujin. Mikazuchi. Alright, not too bad. Uh, the whole thing with the Bujins is that there's kind of a subset of them called Bujingis that like to go into the graveyard because they activate their effects there to power up the main Bujins. Oh my gosh, Rainbow, Rainbow Glow. Did I get an Ultra Rare on the second pack? Let's see. Vylon Vanguard, 4 star Fairy, 1400 attack, 1000 defense. When this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can draw one card for each equipped card that was equipped to this card. Okay, straightforward enough. Pardon me, I'm going to swivel the microphone ever so slightly. Hopefully I didn't come across. Quick play spell, Cunning of the Six Samurai. Send one face-up Six Samurai monster you control to the graveyard. Then target one Six Samurai monster in either player's graveyard. Special summon that target. Okay, so swaps one Six Samurai on your field for another in the grave. Not bad. We got a super rare. I'll take it. Recurring Nightmare. Select two dark monsters with zero defense in your graveyard and return them to your hand. Well, if memory serves, that little Steel Swarm dude had zero defense, so that could count for that. Uh, nothing else is really coming to mind that works with that card. Third pack, Miracle Kids, trap card, target one monster your opponent controls. That target loses 400 attack for each hero kid in your graveyard until the end phase. Okay, we have, aww, Bujingi Turtle, it's so cute. Four star, light, beast, 1700 attack, 1200 defense. During either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets a Bujin monster you control, except during the damage step, you can banish this card from your graveyard and negate that effect. Not bad. Serious protection for your Bujins. We have Bujingi Quillen? Quillen? I'm going to say Quillen. Uh, beast, 4 star, 1600 attack, 900 defense. If you control a Beast Warrior type Bujin monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one face-up card your opponent controls, destroy that target. You can only use the effect of Bujingi Quillen once per turn. I was about to say, just being able to pick any face-up card your opponent has and just destroy it. A little overpowered. Let's see here. Infestation Wave, trap card, return one face-up tribute summoned Steel Swarm monster you control to the hand. To target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Note it says Tribute Summon, so I'm guessing there's bigger Steel Swarms in this box? I think it, the little trailer actually said that, but I'm not too sure. Frost Blast of the Monarchs, a spell card. If you control a monster with, 12, with 2,400 or more attack and 1,000 defense, so probably any of the Monarchs, target one set card on the field, destroy it. 
You can banish this card and one Monarch Spell Trap card from your graveyard, then target one set card on the field. Destroy it. Okay, so if there's other Monarch Spell and Trap cards in this deck, or in this box, um, that's some pretty good Spell Trap Destruction at least, and it does specify set, so you can go after set monsters with it. Strike Ninja, 4-star Dark Warrior, 1700 attack, 1200 defense. During either player's turn, you can banish two Dark Monsters from your graveyard. Banish this face of card until the end phase. You can only use this effect of Strike Ninja once per turn. Okay, so you banish your other Darks to banish him, so I guess you protect him? I'm trying to think of what... how that would sync with some things, anyway. Vylon Pentachloro. Machine, Union, uh... Once per turn, you can either target one face of Vylon monster you control, equip this card to that target. Okay, well there's our equipment. Or unequip this card, special summon it in face of attack position, while equipped by this effect. If the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Wow. That's good ass effect. Metalizing Yeah, metalizing parasite lunatite? 7 star, 1000 attack, oh god, uh, it's another union, it's an aqua, see, typical union effect, you can equip it to any face-up monster on your side of the field as an equip spell, or unequip it and special summon it in face-up attack position, while equipped to a monster by this card's effects, that monster will be unaffected by the effects of spell cards controlled by your opponent. Okay, I mean, that's not... If you can find a way to summon this thing, because it is a 7 star, so if you want to play it normally, you'd have to tribute two monsters, but being able to just make any of your monsters immune to spells, that's not bad. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> Noble Arms Galatin, equip spell card. You can only control one Noble Arms Galatin, equip only to a warrior type monster. It gains 1000 attack. During each of your standby phases, it loses 200 attack. Fair enough. If this phase of card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one warrior type noble knight monster you control. Equip this card to that target. You can only use this effect of noble arms galatin once per turn. Okay, so if it's ever destroyed by spell, like directly or by the monster holding it, is gets destroyed, you can just re-equip it to a noble knight, whatever that is. I guess that's a new kind of monster. Um, God, so much tiny text. Secret six samurai Hatsume. 1600 attack warrior, you can banish two six samurai monsters from your graveyard and or face up from your field, then target one six samurai monster in your graveyard, except secret six samurai Hatsune, or Hatsume, special summon it. You can only use the effect of secret six samurai Hatsume once per turn, if exactly one six samurai monster you control and no other cards would be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Okay, so very heavy cost to target or to Special summon any six samurai from your graveyard, but pretty good defense for others. Bujin Unity, spell card. If you control no other cards and have at least one other card in your hand, shuffle all beast warrior type Bujin monsters from your graveyard into the deck, minimum of one. And if you do, send your entire hand to the graveyard, minimum of one. Then you can add up to three beast warrior type Bujin monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one Bujin Unity per turn. Okay, I guess that's good for recycling your Bujins. Not entirely sure. Uh, Glory of the Noble Knights, quick play spell card. Target one Noble Knight monster you control. Equip it with one equip spell card from your deck that you can equip to that target. Wow, so you can just play any equip spell out of your deck. That's a really good spell card. Depending on how good the Noble Knights are. Last chapter of the Noble Knights. Uh, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can target one Noble Arms Equipped Spell card and one appropriate Noble Knight monster in your graveyard. Special summon that monster, and if you do, equip that Equipped Spell card to that appropriate monster. Not bad. It's basically say, hey, that Noble Knight you just destroyed last turn? Yeah, it's back. Uh, Spirit of the Six Samurai, Warrior Union. Once per turn, you can either... Okay, so it Union equips to Six Samurais. While equipped by this effect, the Equipped Monster gains 500 Attack and Defense. Uh, oh, hold on, there's one more. If the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, draw one card. Not bad. And Hero Kid. When this card is special summoned, you can special summon any number of Hero Kids from your deck. Okay. So... Good way to set up a wall, I guess. 
uh, Vylon Matter. Select three equipped spell cards in your graveyard, return them to the deck, and apply one of these effects. Either draw a card or destroy one card your opponent controls. Not bad, but it has to be specifically three. So if you have one or two equipped spells in your graveyard, it's not going to do it. Evil Swarm Kettos, four star dark aqua monster, 1750 attack. You contribute this card, then target one spell trap card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Okay, not too bad. Uh, there is another monster in this game, I think it's called like Lost Blue Sweeper or something like that. It's another aqua or sea serpent. It kind of looks like a big sort of prehistoric horseshoe crab thing. And it's basically has the same effect that this thing has, it just has fewer attack points. So, okay, fair enough. Pot of Acquisitiveness? Is that how you say it? Acquisitiveness? Quick play spell, target three banished monsters, shuffle all three into the deck, and then draw one card. Cool, we finally got some cards to help out with returning banished monsters. Alright, got a Spirit of the Six Samurai, Kid Guard. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, tribute one hero kid, negate the attack, then add one elemental hero monster from your deck to your hand. Alright, works with that the fact that the hero kids can summon more. Uh, Bujin Hirume. Cannot be normal summon set. 4 star 2000 attack. Cannot be normal summon or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing one Bujin monster from your graveyard, except for Bujin Hirume. If this card, which was summoned this way, is destroyed by your opponent's card by battle or card effect, and sent from your side of the field to the graveyard, and both players have a hand, lots of lots of conditions, you can discard one card, then your opponent discards one card. Okay, that's a lot of conditions to basically say both players discard a card. Uh, fair enough. Alright, tenth pack, and it's only been 12 minutes, cool. Violon Soldier, 4 star, light, fairy, 1700 attack. When this card declares an attack, you can target monsters your opponent controls up to the number of equipped cards equipped to this card. Change those target's battle positions. Alright, so it seems like this pa this box mostly seems to revolve around equip spells, aside from the six samurais and the bujins and stuff. Oh, and the, the evil swarms. Oh, cool, our first noble knight monster. Noble knight Peridor? Peridor? Oh. Well, equipped with a noble arms equip card, or equip spell card, this card becomes dark, and its level is increased by one. Just not expecting that effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard well equipped with a noble arms equip spell card, Target one Noble Arms card in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. Okay, so he can help you recycle your Noble Arms equipment. Alright, interesting enough. Uh, let's go ahead and open up another 10 packs. Let's keep this ball going. Hopefully this video doesn't drag on too long, but it probably will, just considering the rate at which I'm going. I'll try to speed it up. More Rainbow Glow. What are we going to get? First step towards Infestation. Quick play spell. Return one face-up tribute summon steel swarm monster you control with a hand. Draw one card. There has to be something to these steel swarms that I'm not aware of yet. Because returning tribute summon monsters seems like a very bad idea, even if it does let you draw a card. Uh, then we get a violent soldier. Super rare, special hurricane. This card is so powerful. Discard one card from your hand, destroy all special summon monsters on the field. That is incredible. Oh, I remember this card. It wreaks havoc with certain decks. Uh, Hero Kid, Spirit of the Six Samurai, and Strike Ninja. So, first duplicate pack. You might have something else here. We have the Miracle Kids, Vylon Polytope. Quick play spell. Target any number of Vylon monster cards you control that are equipped cards. Target any number of Vylon monster, monster cards you control that are equipped cards. Special summon them in face-up defense position. Banish them when they leave the field. Okay. I guess there's some really strong Vylon that can equip other Vylons to it? Oh, super rare. Cool. Escalation of the Monarchs. Continuous trap card. Once per turn, during your opponent's main phase or your opponent's battle phase, you can, immediately after this effect resolves, tribute summon one monster. <laughs> so you just get to tribute summon during your opponent's turn. Even during their battle phase, so they try to go for your your little shrimpy monster. 
the little weakling monster that you just played. You can go, no, I don't think so, I'm tributing it, and now I have this thing in, on the field instead. Have fun dealing with that. That's a crazy trap card. Hello? Spirit of the Six Samurai, Avalon. Trap card. Target five Noble Knight monsters in your graveyard, including at least one Artorigus monster and at least one Lawn Salen monster. Banish those targets, and if you do, destroy all cards on the field? I mean, granted, you have to have five Noble Knights in your grave, including two particularly specific ones, but... You just nuke the entire field. Oh, an ultra rare! Noble Knight Midrot. Warrior effect. This card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field. While equipped with a Noble Arms equipped spell card, this card becomes an effect monster with this effect. Okay, 1700 attack points isn't that bad either. This card becomes dark and its level is increased by 1. Once per turn, if you control no other monsters, you can special summon one Noble Knight monster from your deck in defense position, except Noble Knight Madron. And if you do, destroy one equipped spell card you control. Huh. Alright, so you give it an equipped spell card, and then you can sacrifice that equipped spell card to summon another Noble Knight from your deck. Okay, not too bad. Steel Swarm Caller, 4 star Fiend, 1700 attack, 0 defense. When a Steel Swarm monster is tribute summoned face up by tributing this card, you can special summon one level 4 lower Steel Swarm monster from your deck. Fair enough. Okay. Vylon Stigma. I have to admit, the Vylons do look really cool. <laughs> like, just from a design perspective. Uh, 4 star fairy, 1600 attack, once per turn during, during either player's turn. You can target one face up Vylon equipped card you control and one appropriate face up monster. You equip the first target to the second target. Oh, cool, so it lets you move your equip spells around. Not bad. Oh, God. Noble Arms Arfuditor? I know I did not pronounce that right, but whatever. You can only control one of this kind of card. Not going to try saying the name again. Uh, equip only to a warrior-type monster. Once per turn, you can target one set card your opponent controls. The equipped monster loses exactly 500 attack, and if it does, destroy that target. This attack loss remains even if this card leaves the field or the monster becomes unaffected by card effects. And so it can give up its own attack power to destroy set cards. Not bad. If this face-up card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one warrior-type Noble Knight monster you control, equip this card to that target. Wow, so these Noble Arms equip spells really just don't stay broken. That's interesting. Kinda, ooh, Silent Swordsman level 3. Uh, 3 star, obviously, 1000 attack, 1000 defense. Negate your opponent's spell effects that target this card. During your standby phase, you can send this face-up card to the graveyard. Special summon 1 Silent Swordsman level 5 from your hand or deck. You cannot activate this effect this turn. the turn this card is summoned or face up. It levels up during the standby phase, so unless you somehow summon it during your draw phase, which I don't know if you can even do, but whatever. Oh, okay, well here's a Tribute Summon Steel Swarm. Steel Swarm Longhorn. 3,000 attack! Whew. Uh, is that... It's a 9-star Fiend. Okay, what's your effect? Once per turn, if this card is Tribute Summoned by tributing a Steel Swarm monster, you can pay 1,000 life points to target one monster on the field, destroy that target. Okay, sure! Bit of a steep cost, but I'm starting to see what those steel swarms are about now. Literally swarm the field with little ones, tribute them to some of the big ones, and then just wreak havoc. Okay, Secret Six Samurai Hatsume, Bujin Unity, Glory of the Noble Knights, all duplicates. Move my little timer so that I can keep a better eye on it. Bujin Findel. Trap card, tribute one beast warrior type Bujin monster, then target one Bujin monster with a different name in your graveyard, special summon that target. Cool. Not a bad trap. Vylon Hipped, 4 star, 1800 attack. Once per turn, you can target one Vylon monster card that you control that is an equipped card. Special summon that target in face up defense position, banish it when it leaves the field. Ignoble Knight of Black Lawn Solon. Okay, well, there's one of those Lawn Solon things. Uh, 5 star, 2000 attack. 
You can send one face-up light normal monster you control to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. You can tribute one Noble Knight monster, add one Noble Arms card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Ignoble Knight once per turn. You can only control one Ignoble Knight of Black Lonsalon once per turn. Okay. So it can resurrect itself constantly by tributing face-up light normal monsters. If I, had, if I had to guess, there's probably a Noble Knight Lonsalon that is, a, that is in and of itself a light normal monster. Anyway, Violon Stigma, Violon Matter, Noble Knight Gawain. 4 star light, 1900 attack. If you control a light normal monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. Okay, I'm sure there's some kind of use for that. And another super rare, maybe? Last chapter of the Noble Knights, Steel Swarm Genome. It's oddly cute. This card can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a Steel Swarm monster. Okay, cute but dangerous. Considering what the oh, oh, I keep just keep interrupting myself. But uh, yeah, that genome just contribute it. You get that longhorn, and you can just start going to town. Uh, Silent Swordsman level five, unaffected by your opponent's spell effects during your next standby phase. After this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you can send this face-up card to the, to the graveyard. Special summon one Silent Swordsman level seven from your hand or deck. All right. Not too shabby. If I had to guess, the Silent Swordsman level 7 is probably an ultra rare. Just gonna throw that out there. Let's keep buying packs. Like I said, I'm spending 3,500 gems on this thing. We're seeing what we can get. And we've been getting a pretty decent ish haul of super rares and ultra rares so far. <clears throat> Noble Knight Gwaltrafod. This card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field. While equipped with the Noble Arms Equip spell, this card becomes an effect monster with this effect. You can target one Noble Knight monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and if you do, destroy one Noble Arms Equip spell card you control. You can only use this effect once per turn. Actually, this is not bad, having to destroy your Noble Arms Equip spells, because the two that I've seen so far, they both say that when they're destroyed and sent to the graveyard, they just reattach to a Noble Knight on your field. So you can literally play it, destroy it, salvage a Noble Knight out of your graveyard, and then that equip spell just goes right back onto the Noble Knight. Vylon Component, Equip Spell, equip only to a Vylon monster. If it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Pretty cool. If this face-up card on the field is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Vylon spell card from your deck to your hand, such as another Vylon Component. All right, and then Noble Arms are Fuditor, wherever you're supposed to pronounce that. Vylon Material, Equip Spell, equip only to a Vylon monster, gain 600 attack. If this face-up card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you add one Violon spell card from your deck to your hand. Violon Matter. Noble Knight Boars. Four-star. Card is treated as a normal monster will face up on the field when equipped with Noble Arms. Uh, yeah. This card becomes dark, the level increased by one. During your main phase, you can reveal three Noble Arms cards from your deck. Have your opponent randomly add one of them to your hand and send the rest to the graveyard. Okay. I don't think that the other two Noble Arms sent to the graveyard will return right away, but that's interesting. We got a Prismatic! Oh, sweet. Alright, one thing at a time. <laughs> one thing at a time. Noble Knight Bedwir. I know I'm pronouncing this wrong. When this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one Noble Arms equipped spell card from your deck to the graveyard. During either player's turn, target one Noble Arms equipped spell and one appropriate monster on the field, Equip the equip spell to that appropriate monster. This effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. Okay, so he's. So you can use him, send a Noble Arms out of your deck to the graveyard, and then immediately pull that out of the graveyard and use it. But you can only do it once. Alright? Driving Snow, trap card. You can activate this card when one or more of your trap cards are destroyed and sent from the field to the graveyard by a card effect your opponent controls. Destroy one spell or trap card on the field. Okay, here Prismatic, oh, super rare. I think I actually have a copy of this card already just because it was part of the uh, that premium selection box, but still a pretty cool card. Continuous Trap by Order of the Emperor. When a monster effect is activated that activates when a monster is normal summoned, you can negate the activation, then the player whose effect activation was negated draws one card. So 
You can summon your Monarchs, which I believe all have effects that activate when they are normal summoned. And then if you don't want to activate that effect, you can just use this trap card to negate it and draw a card instead. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Infestation tool, trap card. Send one Steel Swarm monster from your deck to the graveyard to target one phase up Steel Swarm monster you control. It gains 800 attack. Okay. Double Knight Gawain, Pot of Inquisitiveness. Chain Summoning, Quick Play Spell. Activate only as Chain Link 3 or higher. You can normal summon or set up to three times this turn. You cannot activate this card if multiple cards' effects with the same name are in that chain. Okay. Use Swarm Kedos and Darkness Approaching. Chain Summoning, Noble Knight Bedwear. Steel Swarm Gatekeeper, 4 star, 1500 attack, 1900 defense. Interesting, it doesn't have zero like the others. If a Steel Swarm monster is tribute summoned face up while this card is face up on the field, you can normal summon or set one monster in addition to your normal summon or set that turn. Okay, so you can just give up the, the Steel Swarm genome to summon Longhorn, and if you have Gatekeeper on the field, you get another normal summon, so you could then tribute Gatekeeper for something else? That's kind of a crazy effect. Or just play another level 4 lower Steel Swarm. Those things seem really interesting. Phylon Hept, Infestation Wave, and Evil Swarm Heliotrope. You sure? Oh, they're doing this again. Uh, there's certain cards... I mean, it's a super rare, so really excited about that. Uh, 1950... Yeah, um... One of the devs over at Konami... I think he has fun playing with the card effect with the, the card descriptions for certain cards, because sometimes they'll just be all, like, jumbled up, or have, like, a weird weird spelling to them or something. I'm not even... I'm sure that that probably sp actually does spell something out if you re if you go through the trouble of reversing it, but I'm not going to bother. Chain Whirlwind, Trap Card. Activate only when a card on the field is destroyed by a card effect. Select two spell trap cards on the field and destroy them. Okay, cool. Much better than that driving snow card. Card advance. Look at up to five cards from the top of your deck, then place them on the top of the deck in any order. You contribute summon one monster in addition to your normal summon set per set this turn. Wait, so there's no cost to this? You just get to reorder the top five cards of your deck and then get a free tribute summon on top of your normal summon? What sort of nonsense is that? That's crazy. Noble Knight Artor Artorgus. I think that's one of the ones that needs to be in your graveyard to use that Avalon trap. No one shall ever know the truth behind that fateful day Artorgus went forth to where the brilliant sword didst lay. Tos the first of many feats so great, a legend through and through. We sang of him Artor Artorgus, the noble and the brave, from the tales of the Noble Knights. Okay, so just a little bit of lore. Still kind of cool. Anyway, it's already half an hour, but we're going to keep going. Metalizing Parasite, Soul Tight. Another 7 star union, equipped to any monster you control. When equipped by this effect, the equipped monster can't be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's monster effects. Pretty cool. So, again, if you can figure out some way of getting this thing onto the field for cheap, pretty strong. You got another Chain Whirlwind, Noble Arms of Destiny. You can only control one Noble Arms of Destiny, equipped only to a warrior monster. Once per turn, the equipped monster cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. That's cool. And if this face-up card on the field is destroyed and sent it to the graveyard, you can target one warrior-type noble knight monster you control. You equip this card to that target. Yo, use this thing with those noble knights that say destroy their equipped spell to use their effects. Because you literally, you give it up, you get their effect, and then it just reattaches right to them. Same turn, and they're suddenly just immune to battle and card effect again. Or being destroyed by battle and card effect again. That's crazy. Secret skills of the six samurai. Quick play spell. Send one monster you control to the graveyard, then target one of your banished six samurai monsters. Special summon it. You can only activate one secret skills of the six samurai per turn. Alright. No arms galatin. Mm. Excuse me. Sorry. Not bad. Two super rares, one of which was a prismatic. Can't complain about that. Sorry, just thought I saw something on the ground there for a second. 
I'd like to get another ultra rare, maybe two. Let's see, card advance, driving snow, our food detour, gold ripples. We got a steel swarm genome. We got Avalon. Yep, our Torcus. Cool. And we got a super rare Grand Marg the Rock Monarch. If this card is tribute summoned, target one set card on the field, destroy that target. Can't complain about that. Set spells, set traps, set monster, he doesn't care, he just smashes it. Jingy Turtle, Formation Union. Select and activate one of the following effects. You equip one Union monster on your side of the field to an appropriate monster as an equipped spell, or unequip one of your equipped Union monsters and special summon it to your side of the field in face of attack position. And we got the second Grand Mark. Back to back packs, sweet, uh, I'll take it. He's not a bad card at all. Mad Reloader, 1 star, 0 attack, 0 defense. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, draw or send 2 cards from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do, draw 2 cards. Again, I think Dark World monsters might like this guy, but I think the timing of the effects is wrong. I think for the Dark Worlds to like him, it would have to be draw 2 cards, then send 2 cards to the graveyard. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm always a little bit iffy on that whole timing aspect. Anyway, Steel Swarm Longhorn, Secret Six, Secret Six Samurai Kizaru. When this card is special summoned, you can add from your deck to your hand one Six Samurai monster with a different attribute from every monster you control. Okay. If exactly one Six Samurai monster you control and no other cards would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Alright, well that's what that one Six Samurai spell that we just got can be good for, is recycling the secret ones back into the grave, or back in your hand, or whatever it does. Violent Polytope, Silent Swordsman level 3, Noble Knight Artorgus. Buj Intervention. I'm having too much fun with the puns. Target one Bujin monster on the field, apply this effect to it for the rest of this turn. Each time it destroys a monster by battle, whose current attack is greater than or equal to the targeted monster's original attack, and sends it to the graveyard, banish the destroyed monster, and if you do, banish all monsters from your opponent's hand, main deck, extra deck, and graveyard with the same name that the destroyed monster has in the graveyard. That is crazy. Current attack is greater than or equal to the target monster's original attack. So, greater than or equal to the, your Bujin's original attack. That is not as tricky as it sounds, because I know there's some Bujingis that can combo really well. Like, I think there's one that um, puts an opponent's monster in defense mode and sets, it defen sets its defense to zero, I think. Or maybe maybe it's split among two different Bujin. Like, one puts them in defense mode and one sets their defense to zero, or something like that. But that's really impressive. That could have been useful against... That's actually going to be really useful against certain event duelists. Because I know, for example, Zane Truesdale... He's got a lot of cards that say treat this or this card's name is treated as Cyber Dragon. So if you can get this off and destroy a quote unquote Cyber Dragon, you're gonna just destroy all the Cyber Dragons in his deck. That's impressive. Anyway. Rocket Jumper, three star, one thousand attack, rock type. If this only if the only cards on your opponent's side of the field are defense position monsters, this card can attack your opponent's life points directly. Straight and simple. Don't know how good he is. Bujingi Sinyo. 4 star, 1500. During either player's damage step, if a beast warrior type Bujin monster you control battles an opponent's monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. That monster you control gains attack equal to the current attack of the opponent's monster it is battling until the end of the damage step. And if it does, all battle damage your opponent takes from that battle is halved. This is the card that is meant to cooperate with that Bujin intervention spell. Because that is perfect. You gain... Like, you can just attack anything your opponent controls, banish this thing out of your graveyard, gain its attack power so you're guaranteed to be stronger than it, and Bujin Intervention will just decimate everything with that name in your out of your everything your opponent has. That can make for some nasty combos if you can do it right. Last chapter of the Noble Knights, Pot of Inquisitiveness, and the other recurring nightmare. Alright, that definitely works with Steel Swarms. We have Damage Eater, 2 star, Fiend, 100 attack, 800 defense. During your opponent's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that would inflict damage, 
you can remove from play this card in graveyard to change that effect so it increases life points by the same amount instead. Alright, pretty straightforward. Um, that can be good against that really annoying, uh, like, stally burn deck that's been going around. The one that uses Lava Golem and Amazon of Swordswoman. Not, you know, stellar against it, but it can help slow it down at least. And a couple of duplicates. Frost Blast to the Monarchs, Violon Polytope, Steel Swarm Hercules. I'm gonna be honest, I'm loving these things just because they have a beetle motif going on for the big ones, and I love beetles. <laughs> they're just, they're so cool. Anyway. Cannot be special summoned. Fair enough. It's a 3200 attack point monster with, I think that's 10 stars. Requires 3 Steel Swarm tributes to normal summon, but I think Genome will still count for 2. Once per turn, you can pay half your life points to destroy all of the cards on the field! Okay, that's why you're a 10 star 3 tribute monster. Because I can just have my life points destroy everything my opponent has. Wow, I really want to try out those Steel Swarms now. Those are crazy. Vylon Tesseract. Union equips the Vylons. While equipped by this effect, if the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can target one level 4 or lower Vylon monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Pretty straightforward. Can't argue with that. Steel Swarm Gatekeeper. I really want to try out those Steel Swarms now. Those things seem like they're going to be so much fun. Probably a bit on the slow side, considering a lot of the big ones say they want to be Tribute Summoned, but so much fun. Card Advance, Secret Six Samurai Doji. When another Six Samurai monster is normal or special summoned to your field, except during the damage step, you can send one Six Samurai card from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, so I guess he lets you put other secret Six Samurai in the graveyard so you can start using their protective effects. And then, if exactly one Six Samurai monster you control and other cards will be destroyed, you can bash it. Yeah, yeah. Return of the Six Samurai. Target one Six Samurai monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Destroy it during the end phase. Okay. Straightforward enough. Darkness Approaches. Vylon Pentachloro. Noble Arms Caliburn. Equip spell. You can only control one Noble Arms Caliburn. Put ball into a warrior monster. It gains 500 attack. Once per turn, you can gain 500 life. Pretty sweet. If this face-up card on the field is destroyed... So that's just it. The noble, the monster you put it on gains 500 attack, and then once per turn, it just heals you for 500 life points. That's it. No cost to it. That's... Steel Swarms are Noble Knights. They both seem so much fun. Okay, so I, I know this is taking a while, and I do apologize, but I'm just I'm having fun like running through all these ideas. Ogre of the Scarlet Sorrow, four stars, zero attack, zero defense. During your opponent's turn, when your opponent declares a second direct attack during the same battle phase, you can special summon this card from your hand. When you do, this card's attack and defense becomes equal to the attack and defense of the first monster that attacked directly this turn if it is still face up on the field. The turn this card is special summoned with this effect, your opponent cannot select monsters other than this card as an attack target while this card is face up on the field. Weirdly specific, don't know how good it's going to be. Let's see, Steel Swarm Genome, Steel Swarm Collar, Dark Knight Posh, Parshoth, Dark Fairy, 5 star, 1900 attack, if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can banish one dark monster from your graveyard, draw one card. This card gains 100 attack for each dark monster in your graveyard. Okay. Straightforward. I like it. Phylon Stigma, Rocket Jumper, Bujingi Sinyo. Phylon Tesseract, Phylon Stigma, Bujingi Quillin, Aquilin, Jim, however you're supposed to pronounce it. Infestation Tool, Phylon Tesseract, Ogre of Scarlet Sorrow. Metalizing Parasite Soul Tight, Brutal Potion, Trap Card. This card becomes an equipped card and equips to one monster you control. Once per turn, when you inflict damage to your opponent with a card effect, the equipped monster gains 1,000 attack until the end phase. Nice and straightforward. Uh, you're going to need a consistent way of doing damage. Rainbow Ripples, Rainbow Glow, what am I going to get? Miracle Kids, Bougie Intervention, and the other Bite Order of the Emperor. Okay, can't complain about that, but can I please get another ultra rare? Pretty please, chain summoning the uh, Bujingi Hair. Four star, 1700 attack. 
During either player's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Beast Warrior type Bujin monster you control. Once per turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Straightforward enough. Alright. So many more packs to purchase. Come on. Doesn't help that there have been quite a few cards in this deck, or in this box, that have a lot of fairly complicated effects. Violent Stigma, Noble Arms of Destiny. Looks like we're hitting the point where I'm getting like, a lot of duplicates. Big Eye. Fiend Flip. Look at up to five... Look at up to five cards from the top of your deck, then place them on the top of the deck in any order. Cool, so it reorders your deck. Can't argue with that. Infestation Wave. A super rare Steel Swarm Mantis. Five star, 2200 attack. When this card is tribute summoned by tributing a Steel Swarm monster, you can pay 1,000 life points to target one Steel Swarm monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. All right, that works with the Gatekeeper. That works with Genome. A lot of options. Metalizing Parasite Soul Type, Violent Matter, Noble Arms Caliburn. Violent Tesseract, Driving Snow. Ultra Rare, yes, Dark Creator. 8 star Dark Thunder, 2300 attack, 3000 defense. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by having 5 or more dark monsters in your graveyard while you control no monsters. Once per turn, you can banish one dark monster from your graveyard, target one dark monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. Very powerful card. Oh, not to mention just badass looking. Silent Swordsman level 3, Noble Knight Gwalchavod, and the other Steel Swarm Mantis. I'm getting a lot of the super rares. Wow, lots and lots of super rares. Super Junior Confrontation. Let me actually get the mouse cursor right away. Totally tune that out. Uh, trap card. Activate only when an opponent's monster declares an attack. Negate the battle and one monster with the lowest attack and face-up attack position your opponent controls. Battles against one monster with the lowest defense and face-up defense position you control. After that battle, end the end phase. Or, end the battle phase. Okay. I'm sure there's some odd little gimmicky decks you can build out of that, but interesting enough. Infestation Ripples. Trap card. Pay 500 life points to target one level 4 lower Steel Swarm monster in your graveyard. Special summon it from the graveyard. Nice and straightforward. Infestation Wave. Hero Kid. Steel Swarm Genome. Metalizing Parasite Lunatite. No more of Destiny. Secret Skills of the Six Samurai. Soul Tite. Ogre of Scarlet Sorrow. Pentachloro. Violent Component. Super Rare Noble Knight Dryston. While you control another Noble Knight monster, your opponent cannot target your monsters with less than 1800 attack, except this card, for attacks, or with card effects. Okay, so, while Dry stands on the field, anything weaker than 1800 attack is just off limits. Very nice. If a Noble Arms equip spell card is equipped to this card, target one face-up card on the field, destroy that target. And then you just blow stuff up when you give him an equip spell. These Noble Knights, man. Alright. Final set of ten. Let's see what else we can get. Avalon, Violon Material, Bujingi Kulin. I can feel my voice going. It's probably good that I'm stopping about now. Steel Swarm Sentinel, Dark Knight Parshoth. Secret Six Samurai Hatsume, Kid Guard, Steel Swarm Hercules. Kid Guard, Steel Sword, Silent Swords, level 3. Belial, Marquis of Darkness. Uh, 8 star Fiend, 2800 attack. Your opponent cannot target any face up monster you control except Belial, Marquis of Darkness, for an attack or with spell trap effects. Okay, so. Kind of like Dry Sand, except he says everything is off limits. Ex everything is off limits except for him. Not bad. Especially if you can find a way to make him nice and cheap to summon. Uh, infestation Ripples, Bujin Unity, Doji, Mylon, Noble Knight, Noble Knight Bedwar, Brutal Potion, Ultra Rare, Festivalist, the Fire Firestorm Monarch. Again, it's not marked as new because this is one of the cards you could have gotten out of the selection boxes, and I did, but 6 star, 
If this card is tribute summon, discard one random card from your opponent's hand. Then, if it was a monster card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its level times 100. So, nice and straightforward. No matter what, you get to discard a card out of your opponent's hand. And if it happens to be a monster, you do some burn damage too. Boots in Defension, Chain Summoning. Card Blocker, 3 star, Warrior, 400 attack and defense. When this card is summoned, change it to defense position. When a face-up monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can change the target to this card. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can choose a number from 1 to 3. Then, send that many cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. This card gains 500 defense for each card sent until the end phase. Okay, so if you have a deck that likes sending cards to the graveyard, you can be good for it. Not to mention, if you say 3, you can buff them up to 1900 defense until that for that turn. So... Uh, Silent Sword Slash. Quick play spell. Target one Silent Swordsman monster you control. That monster you control gains 1500 attack and defense. Whew. And if it does, until the end of this turn, it is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. This card's activation and effect cannot be negated. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Silent Swordsman monster from your deck to your hand. Whew. That's a nasty card if you can get all the way to Silent Swordsman level 7. Soul Tight, Return to Six Samurai, another Silent Sword Slash. And that's... that's it. Um, you know what? Just because I want to, I'm going to go ahead and get the three packs plus a bonus super rare. Um, there may be a small cut in the video right here. This is just for me to kind of clip out the uh, the whole Steam overlay, Steam wallet stuff, just because obviously I don't want to show off my payment information to the internet. So I will be back very momentarily. Okay, we're back. Steam, Steam overlay and Steam wallet stuff is gone. Let's see what I get out of these three bonus packs, we'll say. I get Card Advance, Booge Intervention, and Evil Swarm Kettos, so a bunch of duplicates. Fair enough. I get Steel Swarm Caller, Avalon, and a super rare Evil Swarm Heliotrope. Can't complain about that. And finally, I get Violent Vanguard, Frost Blast of the Monarchs, and Return of the Six Samurai. Fair enough. Now, when there is a sale going on like this, and you do choose to buy the one or the level that says, you know, three packs plus one SR or plus two SR or whatever the sale may be. The super rare cards are generated from outside of the box. So, for example, right now, even though I've gotten both of the Grand Mark, the Rock Monarchs, when I hit this confirm guaranteed super rare cards, it could generate a third Grand Mark for me. It could generate any of these, and they won't come out of the box. So, let's see what super rare I get. I get a Noble Knight Dryson. I will take it. All right. So, that's about all the card packs that I can buy, but let's go ahead and cycle through and see what cards I missed. We have, obviously, Silent Swordsman level 7. Cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned by Silent Swordsman level 5, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Negate all spell effects on the field. Okay, so if you're going to use him, you can't use spells either. Good to know. Good to know, but still 2800 attack, not bad. Uh, great Majugarzet, Fiend, 0, 0 The attack of this card becomes twice the original attack power of one monster that you tributed for the tribute summon of this card. I get the feeling this guy can be very useful in farming decks. Uh, specifically ones that use like the Union Attack Gravekeeper's Vassal combo. With the idea being that you carry Garzet to the end. Or maybe not quite to the end, but... Like, say, if you use the Paradox Brothers skill, basically lets you start with Gate Guardian. You tribute Gate Guardian for Great Maju Garzet, and Great Maju Garzet's going to have uh, 7,500 attack or something crazy like that. And then, well, I mean, that's still not enough. You'd still have to use two Union attacks. Well, not if you can summon a monster with, like, 2,000 attack points. I'm sure somebody will figure something out for this. Then we also have Grandmaster of the Six Samurai, 5 star. You can only control one face-up Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. If you control a face-up Six Samurai monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, target one Six Samurai monster in the graveyard, add that target to your hand. Very nice. We also get DD Assailant. After damage calculation, when this card is destroyed by battle with an opponent's monster, 
banish that monster and this card. Okay. DDR, Different Dimension Reincarnation, equip spell. Discard one card, then target one of your banished monsters. Special summon it in face of attack position and equip it with this card. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. That's actually interesting. The monster doesn't re-banish when this equip spell is destroyed. It just gets destroyed and goes back into the graveyard. Nobleman of Crossout, target one face down monster in the field, destroy it, and if you do banish it, then if it was a flip monster, each player sorts through your main deck, banishes all cards from it with that monster's name. All right? And Zing Zhen Hu Replica. Select one set spell trap card on the field. It cannot be activated. Cards and effects can't be activated in response to this card's activation. So it's a cheaper you or a cheaper version of the continuous trap Zing Zhen Hu, which I think requires you to pick two set spell and trap cards, but anyway. So that's all the ultra rares. In terms of super rares, I didn't get a Spirit of Flames. Cannot be normal summon, must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing one fire monster from your graveyard. This card gains 300 attack during your battle phase only. Okay, fair enough. And then a fusion monster. Secret Six Samurai Rihan. Uh, three Six Samurai monsters with different attributes. Must first be... The, must first be special summoned from your extra deck by sending the above cards you control to the graveyard. You do not use polymerization. Okay, so it's a contact fusion. Cannot be used as fusion material. Okay. So I guess that's to keep you from summoning Rihan, somehow swarming with more six samurais, and then combining them with that Rihan to summon another Rihan. Uh, once per turn, you can banish one six samurai card from your hand or face up from your field, then target one card on the field, banish it. If a six samurai monster you control be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from the grid. Okay. Pretty strong fusion monster, honestly. Um, oh, I didn't get a big steel swarm. Steel swarm Caucastag? 8 star, when this card is tribute summoned by tributing 2 steel swarm monsters, so it doesn't work with genome, it has to be 2 specific monsters. Activate one of these effects. Destroy all monsters on the field except this card, destroy all spell and shop cards on the field. Fair enough, the steel swarms know what they do and they seem to do it very well. But other than that, I got at least one copy of every card, so yeah. That was the new box set, that was Crusader's Battlegrounds, it just launched like maybe five, six hours ago for me by the time I'm recording this. And yeah, looking forward to you trying out these Steel Swarms. I hope to use the Noble Knights soon too. A lot of interesting cards. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all had a great time and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next episode that is hopefully not 50 minutes long. And farewell for now. Mm -hmm.